to another episode of Foolcraft. Haha, <laughs> you can't see me. Get that potato out of my hand. I look like the glass. <laughs> I like this armor. I really do. Uh, we're going to... Oh, <laughs> let's go back to normal mode. We're going to pick up where we left off doing some Ender.io stuff. Um, it's literally two seconds since I finished the last episode. I want to give you... Before we start, I want to say a big thank you to you guys uh, for all the response and the help on the first three episodes. Um, super awesome. Uh, keep hitting that like button. Uh, keep leaving those responses. Uh, any hints, tips, suggestions. You guys know I read them all. Uh, and I really do uh, appreciate your help. And look forward to um, hearing from you guys again soon. So thanks for all of, all of, all of your help. And uh, yeah, I'm not very good at, at this part of things. Um, we are going to make a sag mill. So we need to place you down because we need some of you uh, sag mills are awesome and they're going to help us out a lot okay just give me one something wrong with the mouse um, roll feature so we need one of you I want another um, one of the other machines anyway so let's do that Let's quickly do this. Let's quickly do that. Oh, we can just do that. So let's grab one of you. And let's grab one of you. Perfect. come all the way down so we're gonna change this up a bit we're gonna have we're gonna need them oh we're gonna lose all the power stored in there okay yeah we're not gonna do that yet um, you can go there and you can go there how are you going on coal you're going okay you're going okay actually I need two bits of coal from you I'm sorry. Um, oh, come back. Did we? That server lag. So let's open you up. Let's bang this two bits of coal in because we need we need it desperately. Um, we also need you. We're gonna need. more of them. I think it goes like this, like that. I got some sulfur from that and a bonus bit of uh, pulverized coal. Two double layer capacitors, perfect. The reason I want these, 40 RF per tick at a better burn rate. We're optimizing our um, so this generate the coal generates forty two thousand six hundred and eighty RF at forty RF per tick. That'd be off just one piece of coal with this bad boy in there. If I take it out, it generates only sixteen. Wow, it's way better. Perfect. Okay, uh, so we have that up and running, which is awesome. I need to make a few other things, but we're not going to do today because I need to find an enderman. What we are going to do is I'm going to go and show you guys something that I found. Do this. Get rid of you, 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 you. Go up there. We have food on us. We have you. We have some climbing gear. Perfect. Let's go grab some water. And we're going to go and have a look at something that I found. And it's going to be super, super useful to us. Okay, you. Thank you. That we're gonna definitely have to do some some things with. Uh, if we come down here, come down there. Did like a little crappy stairwell. Yoink! This is my mining hole. 
and there's going to be a lot more mining in between episodes now that I have an unbreakable pick. We do need to link it to a colossal chest though. Um, I need to light up over there. I'm always really paranoid about things coming to attack me. Oh, gold. We won't get it now. We'll come back. Oh! Oh, okay. This is the thing that I wanted to show you guys. Haha, -ha, I found it. I didn't realize it was that easy to find. We have a skeleton spawner, which is awesome because we can get all the bones, all the arrows that we want. Sick. Um, we are going to be able to move this later on with a drop of evil, I believe. Um, do they have it in this pack? Yeah, there it is. A drop of evil. Comes from killing wither skeletons. So that's something we're going to have to do very, very soon. But let's check out our loots. Perfect. It's exactly what I wanted to see. Plowman's lunch? What else have we got in here? And we got a frost walker. Freezes water under the player into cracked ice. Okay, fair enough. Uh, Spidrit Nether Wart, some more Mana Steel, and some Dark Steel. Awesome. Well, that was actually a pretty good uh, return. Um, I don't know how to get back down. That'll do. I feel like we need this. I feel like we need this. Just because in case I never come this way again. Uh, where was our stairway up? Oh, there it is. Perfect. Let's go home. Because today, we're going to start something awesome. Extra utilities. Aw, oh, yeah. Is this the ravine? No, it's not the ravine. Stuff down there, though. Oh, yeah, we are at the bottom of the... No? Hmm. There's a ravine around here somewhere. I know that much. Big fan of extra utilities. Uh, lots of awesome things in there. And all I needed... See, now... Mm, one ender pearl. We could make some conduits. Um, I haven't really seen endermen either. Which is weird. Very weird. Uh, I might have to go looking in between this episode and next episode. But I do really want to get started on extra utilities. Um, so I think that's how we're going to waste this ender pearl. I wouldn't say it's wasting, but you know. Uh, let's sort this junk. You, you, you. All go in there. You, 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 and you can go in there. You, you, you can go in there. Actually, that, 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 that. And that can all go in there. Perfect. So, in order to start um, extra utilities, we're going to need a few things. Let's have a look. First things first. We're going to need to create some extra utilities power. The best way to do this is a solar panel. It requires some lapis, some polished stone, which is pretty easy, and a resonating redstone crystal. I think you get these from mining redstone, but I've mined quite a bit of redstone and received none. The other way to get it is some redstone with an ender shard. The ender shard is with a glass cutter and an ender pearl. You get eight. So technically we can get up to eight of these. Uh, a glass cutter is just some iron with a stick. Pretty simple. We got some iron. We'll grab a stick. Uh, we're going to grab a little bit of redstone, which is not in there. And we're also going to keep cooking up a little bit more. I just had my... Uh, my little one wake up. I believe if we do that again, we get the polished stone. Perfect. Uh, we're going to grab this bad boy. Doink, doink. We've got our glass cutter. Our ender shards. 
Now we only need one for the minute. Actually, no, these create, uh, I'm going to need eight of them, am I? <sighs> Didn't really want to do that because we need one for the resonator. Hmm. Uh, we're going to need all of them anyway. Hmm, interesting. I'm going to make this bad boy first. Purely because I can. And I just want to make sure we have one. One out of resonator. Uh, and then we're going to need some lapis, which we have over here. I'm pretty sure we're going to need eight, and if we need eight, that's going to really bum me out. Um, oh no, it makes three. That's awesome. So that's nine. Perfect. So low panels. So let's take a look at this bad boy. Uh, we might actually keep him up here for a minute. So the resonator makes some really cool things. At the moment we have zero GP, okay? We can't do anything in here. In order to generate GP, we're going to need a few things. Uh, and this resonator is an essential part of it. My favorite way to generate GP, these guys create one GP uh, during the daylight. Once it's nighttime, it loses the GP. We want a continual flow of GP. So there's a couple of different ways we can do this. There's the fire mill, gives two GP when placed over fire. There's the lava mill, gives two GP when adjacent to lava. Uh, in order to make them, you need some resonating redstone, some stone burnt uh, brick, which is polished stone in, uh, in a resonator, and you need GP for this to activate. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, so, so you need 8 GP, okay. Um, and then there's water mills, which I think is the way we're going to go. It gives GP for adjacent flowing water blocks. These are pretty simple to make. Yeah, we're gonna go the water mill route. So let's go place, let's sleep first, and then we're gonna go place our solar panels. And we're going to have to find somewhere to set up our water mills. Um, I like to stick these on the roof. Uh, but I don't think we left any sort of ability to place anything on our roof. Did we? Uh, yes, we did, actually. So this will give us nine. One, two, see our grid power going up? Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Perfect, all generating one. So we have a GP at, at the current second, and let's just get rid of you, of nine. We needed eight to do uh, what we needed to do with our stone burnt brick. Now, if we were to put some speed upgrades in here, we would require more GP. A lot more GP. So let's let that all cook up, and let's go down and see about what we can do for these water mills. Hmm. Where do we want to do this? Hmm. We're going to need a, a decent amount of land that's relatively close. We sort of got Batania starting here. Um, I guess over here wouldn't be too bad. We'd have to build some sort of house over it, which is something we can definitely do, because we're master builders now. Look at that piece of art. 
Uh, so let's go and make an axe and clear out some stuff. Perfect. Let's just clear out some of these trees. Um, maybe just a couple, because we're going to only be able to make four to start off with. Um, we'll get all those saplings. So. You know, this is a decent, a decent block. Let's just get rid of all of this junk. We don't need this junk in our house. Okay. Are they all picking up? Yeah, they're just picking up slowly. The server's slowly registering that there's something there. Hey, you. Thanks. Alright, this area will do. We'll build a, a little house around it. I'll probably do that off camera. I'll make it very similar to that one. Um, but this area should be, should be fine. So let's go make our... G water mills. I was going to say GP producers. They're water mills. Up we go. Uh, this is going to take a chunk of redstone, I'm going to say. And we have a chunk of wood on us, which is good. Ooh, redstone orchard. Plant on redstone ore. We do not have uh, the capacity to plant redstone ore yet. I say yet because we will have silk touch a one a day. We we have emeralds. We could actually do silk touch. Um, but for right now, we're not going to. Let's go to 10. 40. We're going to need uh, water mills. So for each one, we need eight. We're going to do four eight, a 32. We need 32 of those. Around some form of plank. Perfect. Uh, so we're going to have you guys you guys this burnt brick is traveling nicely perfect it's our four water mills do we have another bucket we do which is perfect let's go down let's grab some another another one just so we can make an infinite water source now there is a trick to these water mills oh we had an infinite water source up here from uh, Batania. Okay, that's cool. There is a trick to these guys. So basically, what's going to happen is if we place our water mill here, I'm going to clear out a bit of land around it. Three, like so. Okay get all this junk out of here. So, at the moment, it's making nothing, okay? Because we still have our nine from our Badao thing. If I place a water right next to it, it produces eight, okay? But, if I was to place it right here, so it was running into it, it generates 12. If I produce it so that it's running past it, it generates 14. Oh, okay, yeah, I see what that's going. I see what that's doing. Um, if I place another one here, this guy's generating six. 
that how I want it to work. So this guy is feeding both of those. If we place a bucket there. It's generating 15. It's only generating 8. Because you have that one running around there. Okay. So there's a bit of an art to it. I just need to remember how this works. We don't want to create um, infinite water sources. So you are generating 12. Generating 11. I don't know that you're, in, you're generating 7, you're generating 11. If I put that one back, you jump up to 8. It's only generating an extra 1 because it's generating off there. Okay, that's an infinite water source right there. Hmm, okay. I need to, there is a way to do this. I just need to figure it out. Um, I'm just going to test something. Get rid of you. Okay. If this is running into it, it's generating 4, that's 8, 12, and then 16. And then that's 16. Okay, so if I place one here and got rid of you, and then got rid of you, you'll be generating eight. Okay, if I place one here and got rid of you and you, so you're both generating eight, you're generating 16. Uh, we have a shovel. I have seen designs on this. I'm going to have to look them up. Uh, my design is by far probably the worst you guys will have seen. Um, and I'm not ashamed to tell you that. Because it's the truth. Take you, take you. So if we place him in there, place him in there. So you should be doing 16. You're doing 16. You're doing 16 plus our 9, so that's 48 plus 9, we're getting our 57. Uh, we have one more to go, so if we place him here. Actually, we're not going to do that. Is it getting night time? Let's just pull you up. I'm going to place you here. Let's sleep real quickly. Perfect. So I'll take you, take you. Like I said, this is not the best design, guys. There are better designs out there. I'm not going to lie to you. Um, this design is purely just showing you guys how it works. There is an art to it. There is a way to do it that is super compact. Um, I just need to sit down for 5-10 minutes to figure it out. Okay, so that should be 16, 16, 16, and 16. So we could move this, you know, we could move this guy over here. Yeah, let's do that. Let's um, not have it as spread out as we do. So if this guy was here, we released you, 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 and then just did this one and this one. Perfect. 
So they should all, and I'm pretty sure, yeah. That's generating 16, you're generating 16, 16, 16. We have 73 grid power, which is awesome. Love it. So this opens up a world of things for us with um, extra utilities. Let's go and clear out our inventory and have a look at what we can do then with our GP. Alright, let's take a look at extra utilities and some of the awesome features that we get from it. Apart from things like Cursed Earth, uh, which we get with the uh, the drop of evil, we do need to go hunting for um, oops, for some um, I'm having a mind blank of what those black skeletons are called. Um, <laughs> um, yeah, I can't remember. So we can chunk load now that we have some GP. Uh, we can um, we can start using some of the upgrades which is awesome um, I think do one of these flight transfer nodes oh uh, I believe you need GP to use uh, these transfer nodes um, which is awesome index remote biomarker oh these are all interesting there's a host of things um, that come in handy with the GP, but mainly there's two things I want to use for this. One is the wireless RF tra transmitter. It transmi transmits RF energy from batteries to nearby blocks. So it's sort of, um, it's like wireless. Uh, of course it's in the name. So instead of having to create wireless, power this early is very very difficult um, but if we grab two of these which you get four from a stone burnt block and some resonating redstone we can place this near our capacitor and then we can place anywhere else in the world as long as the capacitor is chunk loaded it will draw ADRF per tick from there to the other one and feed it to it up to ADRF which is awesome the other thing we're going to use it for is flight. It only uses 32 GP, which is awesome. Uh, in order to get this, we need to uh, create a couple of things. Um, we need to get a golden lasso, and in that golden lasso, we need to capture a bat, which is, I've seen a couple of them. The other one is we need to get a curse lasso, which is a golden lasso with the drop of evil. We need to catch a ghast in there, which is also uh, I think you need to get it down to like a heart or half a heart and then you can capture it I believe what is this crime bottle what does it do I don't know what that is but it's intriguing me it's very much intriguing me um, so yeah so quite a few things we can do um, angel blocks your standard bins uh, another wireless RF battery um, uh, requires our transmitters to send energy. All good things. All good things. Antenna. Ooh, I haven't seen them before. There are different, um, all different ways to generate the GP. But that is, oh, rainbow generator. Oh, baby. We will get into that. Okay, let's get, <laughs> we're getting off top. I'm way off topic. Um, okay, so we got our solar panels. We got our windmill, our water mills generating GP. We got our resonator. We do need to find um, some more Endermen. That's going to be a big thing for me. We are generating... Is this full? Yeah. Are you full? Yes, you are. And you have some leftover coal. See how good that was. You guys are not filling up. Why are you not filling up? Surely you are. I don't believe that this needs to be a push situation. 
Maybe the server is just lagged? That's weird. That's super weird. Alright, let's quickly rectify that situation. We have the ability. We have our three conductive iron and we have some conduit binding. Let's just do a bit of this and get some basic energy transfer from Ender.io. This can do 640 RF per tick. Um, our capacitor can do 1000 RF per tick. We need to get um, silk touch on this bad boy. But we're just going to get in behind here. Just going to get rid of you. And what we're going to do is we're going to place one on you, on you, on you, and on this bad boy. And we're going to set him to output. These guys should all... There we go. See, it says it's a, it says it's a thousand and a hundred thousand. Yeah, that's cool. So you're burning for no reason, which is always fun. Perfect. Uh, and now, actually, yeah, let's get that done. Let's get some things done. We need three bits of glass. Let's come down. So you are my alloys, and you are my furnace only. We're going to use this setup. This is actually going to be our furnace only, and this is going to be our alloy. Um, we're going to have it so that our ores come in. They're going to go through the sag mill, into the alloy smelter, and then out again. And we'll be able to do it with um, some, some conduits. So if I click glass, we just need to find some more endermen. You there, you there, you there, perfect. Yoink. You can either do this with a wrench or an open hand. You right click. We're going to put this on extract, um, always active, and you're going to be on insert. So that will continue. See the arrow points the way that it's traveling. Uh, this will keep it fully tapped for us all the time. Perfect. Uh, you are done. Awesome. All right, guys, we were going to leave it there. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, if you guys have any hints, tips, or suggestions, please leave it in the um, in the comments below. If you guys have any awesome um, uh, designs for a mob farm for skeletons, um, if you guys would like to link it in the description, that would be awesome. I'm not the best at skeleton mob farms, but I'd love to learn some awesome ones. Uh, I think next time we might go into the nether, have a little bit of a look around in there, and we're going to start on mystical ag agriculture. Mystical agriculture, yeah. Um, so we're going to get some base seeds up and running. Um, I found some prosperity shards while we were out mining, which is awesome. We have 50 of them. So we'll be able to get some base seeds up and running uh, for a few things, such as uh, tier 1 crafting, which we will need for wood seeds. Or for, is water a tier 1? Yep, we can get some water seeds. Uh, ice, I think, might be tier, no, it's tier 1. Tier 1. Okay, so fire is the first of the tier 2s. Dirt is a tier 1. So we might get all our tier 1s up and running. Uh, if I can find some ice, we had ice around here, didn't we? There's ice right there, what am I talking about? Um, we might, should we, leave it in the comments below, should I get Silk Touch onto my pick? We still have three more modifiers. Um, so you guys let me know, what do you think? But thanks very much for watching guys, I hope to see you all for the next episode. I look forward to hear from you. And I'll see you next time. Bye now.